We're back like we never left. It's Pain Wars, you know the vibes. Hey. Let me recap. Jaron Jackson Jr. came through with a plan. Bree is back trying to hold down her throne. I can't do this right now. <laughs> Stomping Grounds is here to redeem himself. I really hope this green covers better. Caddy made it to the finals last time, so you know she's hungry for a win. I'm not gonna make it. Just as the clock was winding down, Jaron left us wondering what he had up his sleeve. I got something for this competition to level up right now. And that's where we left off. So Jaron, what's the surprise? I already know how Pink Warriors does surprise. You're gonna be customizing your sneaker with one hand. I'm taking y'all's brushes, all y'all brushes. I gotta customize your sneakers wearing this sumo suit. What? I don't want any more surprises. Well, because I'm judging this competition based off technical precision. No, 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 no. Degree of difficulty and originality. I'm gonna have nightmares. What is he about to do? I asked my guy Serato to come through. What's up, what's up, what's up? This guy is top tier. Yo, what up, Serato? Ooh. Oh, this is definitely a pleasant surprise, but I'm just glad I'm not getting duct tape this time. I like how you think. Of course, it wouldn't be a pain wars without the biggest name in the shoe customizing game. He's made shoes for Zion, Chris Paul, Dwayne Wade. He's the customizer for the stars. Serato's like one of the greatest customizers I know. Serato, you're definitely gonna need to help Jaren out here because these customizers are getting too technical. At first I thought Jaren was just gonna pick his favorite sneaker, but now we got Serato advising him. I'm just here to help, you know, Jay look at all the aspects of customizing, everything I can see. I'm gonna give him some knowledge and then he can make his decision the best he can. The stakes just leveled up. That's crazy. Stomping grounds, my guy. He got less than an hour left. What you got for me? I'm just painting the, the tongue green to match the theme of the sneakers. And then I'll use the heat gun to dry it up faster, lace it up, and look at final details. Make sure I didn't miss anything, like last time. Okay, okay, okay. We're down to 45 minutes. I feel like Larry is just yelling at the time non-stop. That's the thing about Pain Wars, a race in the clock, and on top of that, you have to deal with Larry. 30 minutes left. That clock is moving, bro. It's gonna be tight. I'm running out of time, but I gotta add these last few details. White highlights really bring out the face. These are must-have details. We're down to 15 minutes, customizers. Only 15 minutes left. Caddy, Caddy, we only have a few minutes left, and I don't really see detail on your sneaker. Man, I, I switched up the design too late. I'm trying to get it done, but it's, it's not working in my favor. I know I'm not gonna have time to do anything that I wanted to do on both pairs of shoes. The music notes, the boom box, the water drops effects on the Mountain Dew shoe, the Mountain Dew logo. You do have a few minutes left. Let's go, let's get to work and start bugging out with that brush. I'm looking and everybody's doing their best. I can see that. 10 minutes. It's gonna be tight, it's gonna be difficult. We're gonna see who gets it done. All I'm doing for these last few minutes is making sure that I didn't miss anything. No lines, no nothing. I already learned my lesson last time. I'm not gonna make any mistakes this time. Six minutes. Breathe, the clock is ticking. What are the last things you're doing right now? I'm just adding a few more drips. You can never have enough drips. You ain't never lie. You gotta stay drippy. <laughs> Five minutes. Stomping grounds, I see you looking at the shoe right now. What is this, you laying down a finisher? I'm hitting the shoe with some sealer, making it scratch resistant, and then I'm done. This is shoe sealer to seal your paint. Some people spray it on, I like to paint it on. If you ever see a custom shoe peeling or cracking, you know that wasn't a professional job. Three minutes. I'm not sure everybody's gonna get their piece done. I don't know if they're all gonna finish. It's gonna be close. Larry's counting down, and I don't know which laces I wanna choose, white or black. I gotta put each in to figure out which looks best. Time is ticking. I decide on black laces. It really contrasts with the tongue and really brings out the details in my shoe. One minute left. Larry says one minute and I'm just trying to get these shoes laced up. At least one. This lace is not even long enough. Wow, Caddy's really not gonna get her laces done, really? I didn't expect that. Wow. 30 seconds left. I'm lacing up my shoe. I'm stuffing it with paper to give it a good shape. Nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up, brushes down. By the time Larry says time's up, I am done. Honestly, I'm pretty nervous. I'm going up against two dope artists. I didn't finish the shoe, so I'm just kind of like, ah, uh, what's gonna happen? I think I have a chance, but I'm not too sure. When I saw that Caddy didn't finish her shoes, I'm thinking I have a little bit better of a chance because my shoes are complete. It's judging time, let's go. Okay, customizers, it's time to get our judge on. Bree, we'll start with you. Show your shoes to both cameras so Jaren can see every detail. Okay, what's up, Jaren? My shoes incorporate everything that you asked for. I have a boombox for hip hop, Mountain Dew logo on the inside, 
side, I got the charged green going on throughout the shoe. I have an image of yourself. And on the back, the skyline of Memphis, and it also says Memphis. There's detail all over the shoes. Remember, we want you to consider the technical precision, degree of difficulty, and originality. What is the first thing that catches your eye? I mean, the first thing is just me. Like, I'm looking in the mirror right there. That's me. I got the fro. A lot of people be drawing me and be having my old cut but I got the fro here. I think his hair a little more than mine. It's actually kind of fire. The first thing Jaren comments on is the portrait. He thought it looked just like him. You see the skylines right. You see how the detail is. I see the boom box. That's old school, but that's like around here. Like that's really what it is around here. Jaren really liked the boom box. I knew that was a good idea. I like it. That's very original. Very difficult, I say. Does this fit your style? You gotta go big or go home sometimes. You see my face on there. I feel like that's a flex. Sometimes it doesn't really matter like what they're talking about. Uh, it's just my face is on a shoe. Somebody kiss it. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I know it's a good thing. Serato, you got thoughts? If you know anything about the work I do, you know, the first thing I looked at was that lightning placing you know, things behind him in the picture when you painted him on there, you know, having the lightning go behind him and not just over top of it. I think it pulls the whole thing together. Serato immediately noticed the lightning. I was happy he did. I actually forgot to elaborate on that. I made that lightning blue to represent the grizzly. Mountain Dew is all about pushing boundaries. Do you see that in any of these designs? Definitely painting a portrait on a shoe and then giving it to somebody is pushing that boundary. It's a bold move to paint somebody and then give it right to that person. I don't know if I would have went that route, but it looks bomb, it looks fire. Oh yeah, Bree's all about taking risks. She did that. Because Serato is a customizer himself, he notices things that the average eye might not see. I had so much going on in my shoe, all the details, and Serato pointed out every detail. So I'm really feeling good, I'm really feeling confident. Hey Bree, best of luck to you. We're gonna keep moving on. Caddy, talk to me about the shoes. What up Serato, what up Jaren? I didn't finish the shoe, so. I'm just kind of like, uh, my whole goal of the shoe is to dedicate one shoe to Mountain Dew and the other shoe to you. My heart is just beating up and down, and I'm just like, damn. And I'm really big on detail work, so me being focused on that for so long, I kind of just lost track of time and wasn't able to get everything done. Hopefully you like what I got so far, and this is what it is. If you take your soda can out of the cooler, you see, you know how it's wet with the little drops? So I wanted to make the shoe look like that, like it's a Mountain Dew shoe. This shoe is some of your colors from your team, from the Grizzlies, and colors from Mountain Dew. She comes with honesty and condensation. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, what are y'all seeing right now? I'm seeing the water droplets. Like, they're definitely the loudest part of the shoe. They're like kind of poking out a little bit. They're not just flat. The colors are used really well. They're really simplistic. They're not like, you know, all over the place. You can really get a fit together. And if you're wearing like blue or something, like any of these colors, like you can really get it off. Colorway's hot. Mm -hmm. Jaren said he really likes the bubbles and that really made me happy. He said it kind of like pops off the shoe and that was exactly what the look I was looking for. I just hope that just overrides everything that I had going on, but I know it's gonna be tough. The first thing obviously I see is definitely the water droplets. That's a high level actual art style that's hard to pull off, especially in the kind of time constraints. I really wish you would have been able to get it all the way around, but I do know that that would take forever. I can see why you ran out of time, but I do actually applaud other aspects of the detail that you put in here. I mean, actually attempting to paint and reline the whole entire Jordan Wings logo over there is something I normally avoid doing because it takes forever. He liked that I detailed the Wings logo and I'm just so happy that he caught that. It is a competition. It's something that Jaron can probably tell you. You gotta keep your eye on the clocks and know where you're at in the game and know what's going on. Kind of gotta have better idea of time management for that kind of stuff and maybe pick one of those items to do instead of trying to do everything. But I applaud the effort and it's definitely still a and in comparison to Breeze, it definitely has that more of a colorway look that you could wear with random different outfits. Caddy, between us, how much time did you need to finish it? To finish these shoes, probably like 18 hours. I was gonna say, at least another five hours in the way. When I do customize shoes, each shoe takes eight hours because I do hand paint. And depending on what I do, it could take longer. Yeah, I forgot, you're not using the airbrush, are you? I don't know how to airbrush at all. I've tried. The right right there raises the level of difficulty immensely because just airbrushing alone would have helped you at least getting those green color block panels on. But even that would have been hard to do with the airbrush because you're gonna have to section off every single section and retape and untape. And this is why you're here, man. Speaking of facts right now, this is big. A lot of people think it's like magic. You just snap your fingers and boom, it's done, but it ain't. I do think Jaren is being fair. Hey, Jaren, we saw Caddy. She kept it a buck with you. She told you that she didn't finish the sneakers. Is that gonna affect you in the judging? Uh, it probably would have if she didn't come out, you know, up front and say it. I just think the way she went about it and the way she started off with it was good. It was nice, you know, sometimes when the professor gives you a test and you admit you didn't study, you get an A. Never happened to me. 
That never happened. It never happened to me either, but I bet it happened to somebody. <laughs> hey, Caddy, good luck, and we're gonna keep moving on. Stomping ground, we in NY with it. Talk to me nice. We got Jaren and Serato here. What we got? What's up, Jaren? What's up, Serato? I wanted to create something that had Mountain Dew in there, and then also something to match Jaren's uniform on the court. I deconstructed the swoosh, and I made it out of basketball material. I also put his number on the back, and I added basketball netting to the mid panel with the stencil. All around each panel, I did uh, the yellow trim to match his jersey, also the blue, his number 13 and I added the greens to match Mountain Dew. Ooh, you got a little magic in there, OG. Man. Mountain Dew is all about getting out there and doing and stomping grounds. You did that. And they see it, they see it. Ooh, turn, turn, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, good. So the laces are a different green than the shoe, like a little off, a little off green. Yeah. Red swoosh. Okay, my thoughts, I think the red swoosh is just setting it way off like crazy. Like it's just making it legit, the netting. I want y'all to understand that swoosh was made out of the same material that's on the basketball. Mm-hmm, next level. I mean, the, the, next level, for real. I feel like Jaren is basically telling us that Stopping Grounds won already. I guess that's a wrap. The design behind it is crazy. It's like simple, but it's not doing too much, but it's like, right there in terms of like rocking it. And then, you know, 13's on the back, so that's drip. You know what 13 is. And what are you thinking, Serato? I'm familiar, obviously, with your style of work. I always appreciate the detail of actually going in and making it out of the basketball fabric when you do that off-white style, you know, swoosh on the side. Serato being part of the judging definitely helps because it brings in a professional. He saw that I put the off-white accents on it, whereas Jaren might not know that style. I definitely like that touch. I do like the touch of having the net in the background. I like how you put those 13s on and you actually matched it to the jerseys that they actually wear, FedEx style lettering and whatnot. I appreciate those touches. I actually like the off green, you know, as well, because it adds a little bit of a little bit of offset and a little bit of flair. I think I'm gonna win this, man. I, I think I'm gonna win this. The only thing that you might be sliding on a little bit comparatively to the other two ladies, the cleanliness of it, you know, maybe touching that up a little bit. So I was like, my lines can be a little cleaner. And I'm like, ah, oh, here we go again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Roddy, you said something about clean? Just cleanliness in general. I mean, just like where he's outlining the yellow spots around the shoe. Let me see um, that. What's the yellow? Ah. Uh, so like the, the yellow trim he's putting around, I'm assuming that's hand painted on there, actually around the stitching that goes all the way around the shoe. It's a fair critique. If I had a little bit more time, I probably could have cleaned that up a little bit. But you know, that clock, it comes quick. It kind of gives you a framework to work with when you do that, which is cool. But it's just the edges where it meets the white and where it meets the green. Some of those spots are a little bit unfinished looking. Maybe he was just rushing a little bit, which he probably was. It's understandable in a competition. Okay. Mm. Big right hey, there. If I'm making this at home, those lines are clean. But I'm against the clock and I'm trying to win. I like it. I like the aspect that you went for. And like I said, I think the only thing you got to up a little bit is just the, the cleanliness on a couple of spots here and there. But other than that, you know, good job, bro. It was a risk, but I had to go for it and I'd do it again. SG, best of luck to you. We'll see what happens. Jaren, quick question. Can you see yourself walking down the tunnel in any of these sneakers? I can. I actually can. For real. Everybody knows I love the tunnel. You all about the tunnel, huh? I want to win because I, I want to redeem myself from last year's paint war. I want to see Jaren wearing my shoes, maybe in a game sometime, maybe just on the street. And just, you know, feel some sort of accomplishment. Keep pushing myself. I see the little yellow. It's a little, you know, a little rushed, but I'm not mad. But you can rock these. Like, th this could go with a fit. Like, this is like some real like swag stuff, you know what I mean? I don't know how much of a shot that I have, but I really want to win. I really hope that they can look over the fact that the shoes are not done. She says she didn't have enough time, but if this is just what she's doing with not enough time, this is crazy. This just shows her talent and what she's actually capable of. I want to win because I definitely want to keep my paint wars crowned. I want Jaren to have some Brie Brie artwork, duh. So I got a rep for my daughter. I can't go tell her I lost. I would rock these just because like my face is on here and like, you know, swag, but like, you would want to hang these up somewhere, like put these on like a mantle or something. This is like a trophy. This is more of a trophy than a shoe, for sure. Hey, Jaren, you're checking out the sneakers. Jaren, have you come to a decision? I have, I have come to a decision. The wait is over. Whose shoes are you taking home? I am nervous, I am anxious, my palms are sweating. I put up a good shoe, I think I got a good chance. Honestly, the way Jaren was talking about my shoes, I think I have a shot. We have three great contestants, they did great work. I'm feeling nervous, I'm feeling anxious, I'm sweating. All what's going through my head is just like, oh my God, please pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. But there can only be one. We had our guidelines of what we wanted to see. At this point, I have no idea. 
I am very, very happy to announce that the winner of this competition, shout out Mountain Dew, is Bree. Hey! Congratulations. Jaren says my name and I am ecstatic. I can't believe I won again. I get to keep my crown. It's mine. I am a two-time Paint Wars champ. I love the detail. I love the effort. I love the commitment. It was great. Thank you. You took a risk with the portrait and it worked. High risk, high reward. Guess what? I'm the two-time champ of Paint Wars. Oh, you like it now like that. They done created a monster though. Obviously, I'm happy for Bree. That's my soul sister, but you know what I'm saying? I wanted to take the crown this time, but it's all good. Bree, you deserve it. All this means is that y'all need to have me back for Paint Wars 3.0, period. I put up a good shoe. I knew it was a risk, but I had to go for it, and I'd do it again. All this means is that I gotta come back for Paint Wars 3.0. Well, that's a wrap. Another Paint Wars in the book. Shout out to the customizers. Shout out to Jaren. Shout out to Serato. Shout out to Mountain Dew, and shout out to Making Life Happen. Don't stop, hey, don't stop, hey, hey. You know the drops don't stop and neither do the blessings, y'all. If you want to get dripped and fitted like your boy, all you got to do is click the link over here. Also, don't forget to subscribe this away and check out more fire videos over here. While y'all do that, I'm going to tell my mama I'm on overtime.